Well, hey everyone out there, welcome back to the channel. It's Chris here from JMNC Games, and we've recently crossed a major threshold here on the channel. We've just crossed over 1,000 subscribers, and thank you to everyone who took a moment to uh, click on that little red button. And if you haven't done so already, if you could just uh, reach on over there and click on that, we'd greatly appreciate it. And in honor of uh, our major accomplishment, uh, I've decided that we would do a very classy game to uh, celebrate. And that game is called Poopocalypse. Poopocalypse. <laughs> okay, it's not very classy. It's the card game for immature people. It says it right there on the box. The world's number two card game. Yes, there will be probably a lot of uh, poo jokes coming your way. Well, uh, let's uh, dive into it now and take a look at uh, what's inside the box. There is the deck of cards, the pass the poo token, and reminder cards on what to do during your turn. To set up, first shuffle the cards. Deal five cards to each player. Place the rest of the cards in the center of the play area as a draw pile. Players now need to determine who has the most poop colors on their clothes. That person will get to go first, place the pass the poo token in front of that player. Before we get into the gameplay, let's go over the different types of cards in the deck and what you're trying to accomplish. To be the winner in this game, you are trying to create a poo pyramid, which consists of three levels. The bottom row is made up of three cards, the Pooh Peasants, which are indicated by this green symbol at the top left of the card. The second row is made up of two cards, the Fecal Fighters, which are indicated by this purple symbol in the top left of the card. And the top row is one card, the Crap King, which are indicated by this yellow symbol at the top left of the card. There are also these swirly cards indicated by a red or a blue symbol at the top left. These cards can help you or hinder others on the way to becoming the King of Poo. Now that we understand the basics of the deck, let's take a look at the gameplay. On a player's turn, they take a look at their cards in their hand. You need to do two of three possible actions. You can do an action twice in a turn. The actions on a turn can be draw a card, place a card in your pyramid, or play a swirly card. When it comes to the red swirly cards, these are free swirlies, which do not count as an action in your turn, and you can play as many of these as you wish during your turn. Once you have completed your two actions, you now pass the poo token to the player on your left. Now finally, there can be a crap attack from the other players. Crap attacks are optional. A player must initiate a crap attack before the next player begins their turn. So what's a crap attack? Well, it's a chance for other players to stop you from growing your pyramid. Let's say in your turn you play a poo peasant on the first row. You pass the poop token. Another player can now crap attack you by placing the same type of card on top of the card that you played. Now you have to defend the attack. You can do so by placing another of the same type of card on top. The attack can continue even by another player who did not initiate the attack. Whoever places the last card wins the attack. If you, as the defender, win, your card remains. All other cards used in the attack go into the discard pile. If anyone else wins the attack, all of the cards played, as well as the original card that you played, go into the discard pile. A few other notes about crap attacks. You can only attack one card during a person's turn. 
if they played two poo peasants and you wished to attack, you can only choose one of them to attack. Also, only the highest level of a person's pyramid can be attacked. Now, when someone plays their crap king, the game is not quite over yet. Once they pass the poo token, each player will now have the chance to crap attack or pass. If all other players pass, you are the winner of the game. If someone crap attacks, it works the same way as a normal crap attack. Win the defense against the attack and you are the winner. Lose and all of the cards, including your king, go into the discard pile. Well, that is Poopocalypse. Yes, the card game of champions. Okay, well, if you're looking for some silly fun with your friends and a lot of potty humor, uh, this is going to be uh, the one for you. We thank you for uh, joining us today for Poopocalypse. And if you have any questions on this or uh, any other games, feel free to drop them down in the comments below and I'll get to them as quickly as I can. And if you haven't done so already, take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. We certainly do appreciate that. Well, now we know the basics, so let's play.